So in Magic Maids, we have a thing called dirt code. And what that is, is whenever we ask the customer on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the dirtiest, what would you rate your home? So typically people are pretty honest, but you know, they don't see things the way that we do. So we always add two to whatever number they say. If they say five, we're gonna put seven. And the reason that we do that is we use that variable to create that initial estimate. And it's also to give them an opportunity to um, for you to listen to red flags. So if I am talking to somebody and I ask them that question and they say, oh, well, I mean, it's my brother's house. He's been sick for the last couple months and we're putting him in the hospital and we really need to get his house cleaned, you know, while he's gone so that it's livable whenever he gets back. Well, I just heard the term livable. So that makes me immediately think. You know, no matter what number they say on that dirt code scale, it's probably something that I might want to go take a look at in person or jump on a video call with them and have them show it to me or something like that. Because, you know, obviously we don't do anything like biohazard or, you know, hoarder cleanup or anything like that. So if you do, that's fine. But we we don't. We just do, you know, typical residential maid service. So it gives them an opportunity to kind of bring to light any issues that might be um, might be a reason that you might not be able to complete the job successfully.